Hello friends, I'm Timur, and you are watching Nostalki Live. Today, I would like to tell you about Winter Queen, a new game by Yuri Zorovlev and Crowd Games. Let's take a look. As wizards in the Winter Queen's annual competition, players use enchanted crystals to weave magical spells and vie for the title of the Queen's key advisor. But, before we explore the gameplay, let's take a look at the game's components and setup. In the box, you will find the Queendom map board, crystal holder tiles, spell books, Queen's domain tiles, victory point tokens, and the first player's token, as well as enchanted crystals in five different colors, a bag, and reference cards. Setup varies a little bit depending on the number of players. But, for this example, we will show you a four-player setup. Place the Queendom map board in the center of the table. Then, place one crystal holder tile between each pair of players so that each player has one tile to their right and left. Next, put all the crystals in the bag and take and place four of them on each crystal holder tile. Randomly place one queen's domain tile face down on each of the five spaces with a tower or a palace and turn them face up. Return the remaining tiles to the box. Shuffle the spell books and place them in face up piles of five each next to each of the four coats of arms on the Queendom map board. Finally, place the victory point tokens within easy reach of all the players. The player who last saw snow is the first player. Starting with the first player, players take turns until they draw the last crystal from the bag. On their turn, a player can perform one of the three actions. Place a crystal on the map, place a crystal on a spellbook, or activate a spellbook and gain victory points. Let's talk about all three actions. On your turn, you may take one crystal from a crystal holder tile from the left or right of you and place it on any empty space on the map. Note that empty queen's domain tiles also count as empty spaces. Each space on the map may contain only one crystal. After placing a crystal, you may take the top spellbook from the corresponding stack next to that county. You can have three spellbooks at a time. When you place a crystal on an empty queen's domain tile, you may take the top spellbook from any stack. But, if there are no available spellbooks, you take nothing. Instead of placing a crystal on the map, you may place it on one of your spellbooks. You may choose either page of one of your books. Each page may contain one crystal of any color. Two crystals on one book can be the same or different colors. When you take the last crystal from a crystal holder tile, you gain one victory point and then put four new crystals from the crystals bag on that tile. In order to use the spell book effect, you should select one of your books with one or two crystals. Then, you apply the effect of each page with a crystal on it in the order you choose. Activating spell books is the primary way to gain victory points. To win the game, you should plan your actions and think through what spell books you need and what color should be crystals on them. Here is an example. A player activates the Border Keeper spell with a red crystal. The spell is worth one victory point for each red crystal on the edge of the map board. In this case, it is worth three points, since the crystals on Queen's Domain tiles also count. After applying the effect, you remove the spell book and the crystals on it from the game. If you have activated a book with one crystal, your turn ends. If there were two, you must remove any one crystal from the map board and put it back in the bag. While activating a spell book, you must tell other players the spell and how many points you get. Take the number of victory points and place them face down. Players can't look at others' victory points. Once the last crystal is drawn from the crystals bag, the final step of the game begins. 
Until the end of the game, players are not allowed to activate spellbooks. All available crystals are placed on a single crystal holder tile available to all players. After the end on the round, each player takes one more turn, and then the final scoring begins. Starting with the first player, all players apply the effects of all their spellbooks with at least one crystal and score victory points as usual. During the final scoring, players do not discard their spellbooks or crystals from the map. After all players have activated all their spellbooks, they reveal their victory point tokens and count them up. The player with the most victory points wins. Winter Queen is an easy-to-learn family abstract game that provides enough depth to create a serious challenge, even for experienced players. Depending on the number of players, the game takes from 20 to 30 minutes. The random setup of spellbooks, Queen's domain tiles, and crystals guarantee that you will need to adapt a new strategy for every game. Thank you for watching. If you like it, be sure to click like and the notification bell. Subscribe to our channel and play different games.